Hello YouTube and welcome to another Proxmox tutorial. So in this video I'm going to show you how to run a Windows Server 2022 VM on Proxmox. So are you ready? Let's get started. So as you can see here I'm running Proxmox version 8.0.3 and we're gonna actually set up a virtual machine for Windows Server 2022 okay so the first step is actually to upload the ISO image for the Windows Server 2022 okay so I'm going to the storage here so here I have a local and I have another one so you can choose whatever storage you want and you go to the ISO images section okay and here there are a couple of buttons you can upload the ISO if you have it on your computer or external desk or you can download it from the URL okay so me I have actually ISO image on my local computer so I'm gonna actually upload it to the Proxmox server so all I have to do is to actually hit this button here upload then another window appears Okay, so I'm gonna select now the file or the ISO image. Okay, so I'm going here to the ISO uh, folder where I put all my ISOs, and here you can see that I have actually a Windows Server here 2022. So I click on it and I will open it in order to upload it. So you can see the size here is about uh, 4.84 gigabytes. Okay. So all we have to do now is to upload the image. Okay. So then we will wait for the process to complete in order to perform actually the creation of the virtual machine. Okay. Okay, now as you can see the process has been completed okay so the finished file import successfully and the task is okay okay so we can get rid of this window here and as you can see here this is our uh, ISO image that has been uploaded so now that we have ISO image we can start the process of creating a virtual machine okay so all we have to do now is to actually click on this button here create VM okay so let's create VM here of course we choose the node okay so I only have one this is the also the virtual machine ID so you can change it if you want but I will keep with the default here and here you can give the name for your Windows 2022 server so you can put whatever name you want okay <clears throat> so I will just keep put the default so I will go next here the most important uh, step is to choose the storage where you have put your ISO image okay so my storage name is simply called storage what I have to do now is to click on this row here and to choose the ISO image that we have just uploaded okay here we go and here for the guest OS we choose the type it's not Linux it's a Windows Microsoft Windows and the version we can choose from the list but here as we don't have actually uh, but I guess we have it here it's either Windows actually 11 or 2022 okay so we'll go next we can stick with the default here 
and for the EFI storage we can just choose this one here and for the TPM E storage we'll choose the same storage okay so we will go next here the disk size so you can put whatever whatever disk size you want so I will choose for example for me 50 gigabytes okay next step is to choose the how many cores you want to allocate for your uh, virtual machine so I can choose two or four as you want but me I will just stick with two because I am not going to do some heavy task on this server okay I will go next for the memory you can keep the default or uh, actually uh, increase it I guess for me four gigabytes is uh, far enough here we go for the network you can choose the bridge that you have by default okay so I will go next and this is the summary of the whole uh, configuration for our Windows Server 2022 okay and we just click finish so now in the list of the virtual machine you can see that the Windows 2022 has been created and it has an ID 113 okay so I'll click on it and this is our console so we can start it if you want so let's start our virtual machine in order to actually uh, run it so as you can see here I'm not able to run it because I must boot on the ISO image so in this case we go to the options here and here there is a boot order so we can edit this section and you can see that the ISO image is on the second position so I will just drag it to the first position I will hit OK and I will return back and try to start it okay and if you are still cannot run it you can also change the processor type so I'll just double click on this processor here so the default is x2086 uh, 64 v2 AES so I can just uh, change this to the host okay so I will click OK so now that I have changed the processor type let's try to go to the console and start our machine okay so you can see now that it's put in so I will just hit any key in order to start the process of installing the Windows Server 2022 and here we go we have actually the Microsoft server operating system set up so here we can choose the language to install the time the currency and also the keyboard so my keyboard is actually a UK one So I'll just hit next and I'll try to install it. So I don't have a key for a moment. And here you can choose the different uh, OS. So I'll choose the Windows Server 2022 Data Center and the Desktop Experience because I want to GUI to manage our server okay here we go and this is our disk which has uh, 50 gigabytes and I will just hit next in order to let the Windows Server system to be installed okay and we will wait for the process to be completed
So now our uh, Microsoft uh, Server Operating System uh, is restarting. So while it's getting ready, I can actually assign a tag to uh, our virtual machine as we have seen in my previous videos. So I'll click on this uh, pencil here, edit tags, and I will add a Windows tag. Okay, here we go. Okay, so here I have to provide the password for administrator. So I will input mine and let's test finish. Et voilà, you can see now that we are ready to log on to our uh, virtual machine. So I will just go to Control R delete here. And I will provide the password that we have just input. And you can see now we are logging to our uh, virtual machine. And this is our fully functional Windows Server. So everything you need, you can install it in this uh, Windows Server, okay? And of course, here you can get rid of the CD drive because you don't need it anymore. We use it just for installing our system. So we can go to the hardware section and remove this CD DVD drive. Okay. And for the summary, you get a global view of the resources that you have in your uh, Windows Server. So the conception of uh, CPUs, memory, you have CPU usage, the memory usage, okay, so network traffic and so on, disk IOS. So you have everything you need in order to monitor your server, okay. So as you have seen, it was very easy to configure and create a virtual machine for Windows Server 2022 on Proxmox. So that was just a brief video to show you how to install Windows Server on Proxmox. As always, I hope it has been informative for you and I want to thank you for viewing. Bye bye.